Handout 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.6, number 33. And here we were asked to find the equation of the slant asymptote. And the reason we know it's a slant asymptote is if we look at our original function, the degree in the numerator is exactly one higher than the degree in the denominator. And when that happens, you're always going to have a slant asymptote. Or sometimes, let me write the word asymptote. Sometimes you'll hear it referred to as an oblique asymptote. Same idea. And, and in order to find the equation of that oblique asymptote, you're going to want to use long division. Now, I always say when, when you have a rational function, find the domain first. But the thing about this denominator, if we look at 3x squared plus 4, 3x squared plus 4 never zeroes out over the real numbers. When I tried to set it equal to 0, right, when I had 3x squared plus 4 equaling 0, and I subtracted 4 from both sides, you see I'm getting 3x squared is equal to negative 4. When I divide both sides by 3, I get x squared is equal to negative 4 thirds. Well, there's no real number that squares to a negative number. So another way of saying that is our denominator never zeroes out, so we're going to keep our domain as all real numbers, which, okay, great. There's no vertical asymptotes, there's no holes. It's just something to keep in, uh, keep in mind. But to actually find the end behavior, or the equation of the slant asymptote, as we were asked to do, I'm going to use long division. So here I go. Now, I have to put some placeholders in there. So my divisor, right, I have 3x squared plus 4, but I need a 0x as a placeholder. And then my, my numerator here, right, I had 6x cubed minus 5x, but again, I need a placeholder. So then we start going through long division. What do I need to multiply 3x squared by to get up to 6x cubed? Well, that is 2x. So now when I redistribute this, I'm going to multiply the 2x to the 3x squared, the 2x to the 0x, the 2x to the 4, I get 6x cubed plus 0x squared plus 8x. But I have to remember that I need to subtract all of that. So really I have minus 6x cubed, a negative and a positive here. It, I mean, you could write it as a negative, but 0 and 0 is just 0. And then I have a negative plus 8x, so that's really minus 8x. So when I start to combine these, 6x cubed minus x cubed zeroes out by design. 0x squared minus 0x squared cancels out by design. And then I have minus 5x minus 8x, and that's where I'm getting my negative 13x. And if you look, you can't multiply 3x squared to get to negative 13x unless you're, you're going to multiply by a fraction, which is not what we want. So when we're done here, our quotient is 2x and our remainder is negative 13x, and we don't even need the remainder. All we need is this, because when you're talking about the equation of a slant asymptote, it's always of the form y equals mx plus b. So in this case, my slant asymptote was 2x plus 0. The y-intercept happened to be 0. So all I need to worry about is the y equaling 2x. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.